what's up guys once again you're welcome to our channel today all right guys abdul salami received the shock of his life after Obaseki actually actually gave him this response now everybody know that uh abdul salami is the chairman of the peace accord all right normally during the election he will have to get all the political parties to actually sign a peace accord to abide by uh, a peace treaty all right but um what shocked Abdul Salami was the response of Obaseki, and I'm going to play the video. This is not, I'm not kidding here. Watch the video, you know that Nigeria is totally irredeemable. The parties, that is to ensure that there is no much slinging during the campaign, and then we accept the results as long as it is free and fair. And also, if there is any misgivings, uh, the court should uh, be the uh, uh, abiter. Um, you were here in 2020. Um, very heated election. You know, this is an off cycle election, and there's a lot of attention. But unlike 2020, um, I'm very worried. Very, very worried. Uh, because from the developments and where we are today. I think my party met yesterday and we're not likely to sign this agreement. The person who is supposed to enforce peace, the peace accord, is now an active participant in creating a destructive environment. We've had situations where, from the Inspector General's office, there are armed gangs of policemen who come, have come into a state to just invade, arrest, and take away uh, PDP members. As we speak, there are about 10 in detention in Abuja without trial. Two days ago, they came to pick up a local government chairman. This man, you know, this chairman was going back home. He was attacked and shot at. And the police, he reported, and the police said he should come to give evidence, he came, they arrested him. And as I speak, he's in Abuja. I said, how? Even if offenses were committed in Edo State, why would you not charge the offenses here and try them here? Why take them to Abuja? I mean, are these offenses of high treason? And then in Abuja, why not charge them to court in Abuja? The police, the edges office came in and obtained warrants to arrest 60 PDP um, supporters. 60. Six zero. Yes, they have the warrants. So all just essentially driving all our leaders into hiding. The, and for me, my role as the chief security officer is being made nonsense of by the IG. Because the commission arrests, we had somebody was arrested. I think the chairman was arrested. I called the commissioner. I said, please, I understand this has happened. Please look into it and let me know. He said, I'll come back to you, sir. And he, he just refused. He ignored me. He didn't say anything. It was the next morning at 4 a.m., he moved that person to Abuja. And I said, speak down there. So, sir, how can we get to sign a peace accord? Why should we? Because clearly what they are saying is it's going to be a very violent election. And they are going to use the forces of coercion and intimidation to win the elections in the door, whether we like whether we like it or not. That's the message. I have that the IG is in town who said no until everybody arrested in Edo is released or brought back to Edo to be tried for whatever offenses you claim they've committed. We have no confidence that the police is going to protect us.
All right, guys. So you've heard the response of Obaseki. You know, this is the norm in Nigeria where violence becomes the order of the day. And it didn't start today. It started with Obasanjo. Obasanjo is credited to have made, said this word that either it is do or die affair. Obasanjo actually initiated it. Do or die affair. All right. Right from then, it has become a norm. It has become the way of life whenever we have election. There must be violence, you know. So in a civil society, I mean, why will Abbas Hakim make this kind of a comment if we all want Nigeria uh, to be good? Because this does not in any way teach the younger generation, you know, um, to eschew violence and to imbibe, imbibe peace. So what do you guys uh, think? I want you guys to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think.